this video I'm gonna edit youtuber products but in a pretty unusual way. First I'll make them really big and then I'll edit them in a random places and try to make it as realistic as possible. For this video I've chosen two products, 251 shoes by MKBHD and Prime Hydration by Logan Paul and KSI. If you like the video and this idea in general definitely make sure to let me know because in the next episode I'll let you choose which product to edit and where. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. First, I'll start with 251 shoes by Marcus Brownlee. Fortnite and Marcus Brownlee. He is a tech reviewer that I've been watching for as long as I remember really. Amazing dude, huge respect from me. 251 is a reference to the length of the very first tech video that he ever posted and I think it's really smart and very cool. I never had these shoes but I like it and I think I can make something very cool. So let's begin. Let's drop this picture first, make it a tad smaller, there we go. Now let's drop the shoes and cut it out with a pen tool simple and easy so far i like using pen tool because i can go in as much detail as i want let's mask it out and fix the colors i'm just gonna add this red on the top remove the red from the black parts there we go you can also use the hue and saturation just drop down the saturation and paint the red parts it looks very nice so far. Let's center it a bit more. Now I'm gonna add the ambient shadows with the exposure. It's gonna be on the right side because the light is hitting from the left side. There we go. Add the shadows under the shoe. I'm gonna add the shadow behind this red part. I think it looks pretty realistic, I'm just gonna remove it from this part. I'm gonna add the color balance and increase some yellows and some reds. Now I'm gonna add the ground shadows with the exposure. Nothing special yet. I'm gonna add the bigger shadow with the shape and I'm gonna resize it. There we go, just warping. I'm gonna decrease the opacity and remove some parts. Now let's add some more ambient shadows some more shadows right here some more shadows under the shoes one thing we're missing right now is the highlights so i'm gonna add the highlights with the exposure i'm trying to keep the highlights on the left side and i think it's starting to look a lot better i'm gonna add the tilt shift in the background just move the lines right here. I'm also gonna add this sun overlay for some more highlights. Set it on screen. There we go. I'm gonna make it a tad bigger. I'm gonna add this dirt like texture so it looks like it was worn. I don't want it to be extremely perfect because it's in the street paint here and there to make it look like not so perfect I think it's finished I'm just gonna add the camera roll filters and let's see what it looks like Well, this is 100% what I imagined when I first decided to make this edit, and I love it. Simple, 
clean and very realistic I think. I would call this a win but definitely let me know if you like it. Now let's move on a second product which is Prime Hydration by Logan Paul and KSI. I've actually never tried Prime until today. In my country it's weirdly expensive, it's insane. In USD it's like $7. Compared to Red Bull for example which is $2, I've never even considered buying it. But I did it anyways and what can I say, I actually really liked it. This edit will be a lot harder I think, but I'll make something really cool so let's start editing. So first let's cut out the product, I'm just gonna fix the edges. The main idea for the prime bottle is to drop it in the nature and make it as realistic as possible. I'm gonna drop it in the water, just remove the bottom part so it looks like it's in the water. There we go, it looks pretty nice but it needs some editing. First I wanna make the background a bit brighter, I'm also gonna increase the saturation to pop the colors. I'm also gonna add the sun overlay, just gonna set it on linear dodge. This will make the image pop a lot more. Let's also add the Gaussian blur to hide the lines, there we go. I'm gonna match the colors with the color balance. Now let's add the shadows behind. I'm just gonna remove it on the right side where the light is hitting probably. Also removing on the left side, there we go. Now let's add some more harsh shadows on the bottle. Same thing in the middle. This is gonna give it this depth. I also want to decrease the vibrance a bit because the colors are too shiny I think. I'm gonna duplicate this darker shadow on the right side. I'm gonna try to merge it in the water using this brush. Let's add some more shadows. And now it's time to make the reflection. I'm just gonna flip the bottle there, fix the edges. Looking nice. I'm gonna make it a lot darker. I'm gonna try to use the blend if. With the smudge tool, I'll try to make this water shape. There we go, just gonna move it here and there. This is gonna make the edges a lot more blurry and warped. I'll remove the shadow from the rocks. I'm gonna add the tilt shift to the reflection as well. Now I'm gonna duplicate the background, move it on the right side to keep this bush in the foreground. There we go. This is gonna give the edit the depth of field. Now let's add some highlights. Highlights should be on the right side mainly, but there should be a small highlights on the top and on the left side as well. I'm gonna blur this foreground grass so it's not in focus. I'm gonna duplicate the background once again and I'm gonna keep this rock as well. Remove the parts I don't need, add some highlights. I'm gonna add some grass as well so it's not that harsh. Same thing with the Gaussian blur, I'm just gonna blur it a bit, there we go. I'm also gonna add the same thing I added on the shoes with the exposure. Let's add some shadows on the background as well and I think it is looking very nice. Now I'm gonna add the camera roll filters and let's see the final result. I'm really proud with the final result, I think it looks unusual and very cool. 
This added took like three times more than the shoes, but they are both amazing in their own way, I think. I really enjoy reading your comments, so make sure to let me know if you liked the video. And if you like my overall content and wanna see more stuff like this in the future, definitely make sure to subscribe and like the video because that motivates me a lot and means the world to me. And at the end, I really hope I'll see you in the next video.